beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful dm to df reading i do hope you're well and that you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that love that is within you so today i'm going to use a selection of different decks and i'm going to start with the divine masculine messages to the divine feminine from beautiful george from blue eyes tarot to see what's going to come through and i'll show you the other decks as i'm using them Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you. And if you are new to my channel, I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation and how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And if you'd like any extra support on your journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. So let's see what's coming through, what the Divine Masculine would love to share and express to the Divine Feminines right now in this moment of you listening and viewing this reading. That's why it's so special, because energy does change all the time. So let's see what's going to come through today, what you need to know, Divine Feminines. I find it hard to show emotion. So your Divine Masculine wants to express to you right now in this moment that they find it hard to express how they truly feel something that they've been working through in this preparation so if you're in a situation right now with your divine masculine and it, they seem a bit cold distant it's because they find it hard to show how they truly feel and also this is about things that have happened in the past as well if you're not actually in contact with your divine masculine right now they haven't been able to express who they truly are to you because they weren't comfortable with themselves and transformation they're going through this transformation and you can trust that and know that because that's what you're working through divine feminines you're going through this huge transformation and the energies are very intense at the moment these moon cycles recently and the planets have been really full on and everything that needs to be addressed is heightened within you and you're having to feel and work through things and reoccurring lessons could be happening as well um, and it could feel you know very challenging for you but your divine muscle is going through exactly the same thing and they didn't express themselves um, because their heart was blocked to themselves and again we have to look deeper into this because this is yourself that you're dealing with this is a journey of self so you weren't um giving to yourself, expressing love to yourself. You may have been doing it to other people, but not to yourself because your heart was brought to yourself. And that's really hard to swallow at times because we just want to look outside of ourselves and think, you know, it's all about the individual, um, the physical person that's come into our life, but they're just here to reflect back to you what is going on with you and trust the journey. That's, you know, your, your true self, your other self, your divine masculine is saying, trust the journey. However crazy it seems right now, however it doesn't make any sense right now, keep seeing through the pain, keep seeing through the illusions to get to that place of peace and harmony, trusting the journey. And then when you're trusting, when you're being patient, you are radiating that out into the universe. That is felt. And you're showing this commitment to self and to God, to the universe. And you bring instant peace to yourself. The only time that we feel pain discomfort is because we're not trusting we're disconnected from who we truly are we've come away from love the unconditional love that we are so let's see what else is going to come from these are the divine masculine 101s from beautiful liz from guided by angels <clears throat> so but they want you to know this physical person wants you to know they find it hard to express themselves to show emotion um because of things that have happened in their life they have been shut down um, when they've tried to express themselves. So let's see what else is coming through. They're going through this huge transformation. What else is it that I'm asking would love to show and express right now in this moment of this reading? Whoops, that one flipped out. So that wanted to come. I think about being with you. Yeah. They think about being with you all the time. Wherever they're going, whatever they're doing, you are with them because you are one. 
And again, that could be really hard for you to believe because it seems as if they're getting on with their life and life just seems so confusing and full on for you right now because of this transformation that you're going through, releasing the layers of conditioning and programming them and changing your belief system. But the truth is, they think about you just as much as you think about them. What else is it that you need to know right now from your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines? It will never be over between us, no matter what I say or do. So that's what could be happening for you right now, where you're feeling as if it's over. That this is all over and that you can't do this anymore. Because of what your Divine Masculine said to you in the past or what they've recently said to you. They're saying, don't get absorbed of what's going on in the physical in the 3D. See through those illusions. It doesn't matter what I've said or done. It's never, ever going to be over between us. And it's never going to be over for you. That's what you have, have what you have to take from this message. You're never going to give up on yourself, ever. And at the bottom of the deck, you are the only one I want. Yeah. <laughs> You are the only one I want. I know at times it doesn't seem that way. But that is the truth. And when you're in your truth, Divine Feminines, you know that, that you know that this message is so true. You know that this physical person, whatever their behaviours or actions have been in the past, has been coming from fear. And all that they truly want is you. So there could be other people involved in your journey. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's why it's always important to always take what resonates and leaves the rest. But you are the only one that you want yourself. You only need yourself to feel secure, to feel content with who you truly are. Because then you can manage anything in your life. You sell, you sell through life, you flow with life because you're confident, you're secure within yourself. You're not comparing yourself to others. You're not questioning yourself. And that's what you're being pushed to do on this journey and that's why it feels intense and so lonely at times because you haven't been able to trust yourself before because of things that have happened in your life. And all that is being stripped away and you're being left to get on with it. You're, you're being put in the deep end. You're being pushed to trust your intuition, to trust that knowing. As I always say to you at the beginning of my readings, this is all about you trusting and believing in yourself and knowing what is best for you. And not going by what other people are saying to you, what's going on around you. You're making decisions from a place of unconditional love. Not putting yourself through struggle, thinking that you've got to put yourself through things that are really not necessary because of fear. So now I'm going to be using the Divine Masculine Messages of Love from Beautiful Lizards also to see what else is coming through. What else is it your true self, your Divine Masculine, your other self wants you to know? And everything that I'm sharing with you right now in this moment, you know already. I'm just confirming with you what you already know. You know what's going on with you. You know you're going through this huge transformation. And when you are in your truth, you feel so peaceful. And you can, you can feel you are with your Divine Masculine when you're in your truth. What else is it that Divine Masculine would love to share and express right now in this moment? I promise you communication. So your Divine Masculine does want to communicate to you. So communication. Some... Um, text messages or emails or phone calls are on their way and you could be you could feel this as well this is brewing when you're in your truth they're promising you this communication there is nothing to fear it's never going to be over between you and they could be feeling quite anxious because this time they want to communicate in such a different way with emotion because of this transformation, because of what they've been working through in this preparation, the Kundalini is rising, everything is rising within you. <laughs> so everything is rising within your Divine Masculine. And this is about the sacred lovemaking energy, um, the sexual energy, but 
this is about everything. That, it's, this is about everything within you is being shown to you right now. Everything's sort of getting stirred up. Um, and it could feel a bit all too much at the moment. <clears throat> this, this feeling of brewing, something is brewing. Um, and I'm sorry for everything I've done. And at the bottom of the deck is, I see signs about you. So for some reason, I've picked three out of this deck and I was only supposed to pick two. So that is obviously <laughs> meant to be. And three is all about strong faith. So they're seeing these signs about you, wherever they're going, whatever they're doing, they're being reminded of you. Signs and synchronicities, which is showing how alert they are. They're not going around with their eyes closed. They're not asleep. And you know that that is the truth because you are awake. You're seeing these signs. And because of programming and condition, we're so used to seeing this physical person as separate from us. That's when we question it. We think, oh, are they going through the same thing? Or, you know, what's this person? You, you know exactly what's going on with your divine masculine because of what's going on within you, because you're one soul. It is really hard for the mind to comprehend. It can't, <laughs> you can't work your way through this journey through mind, you have to do it from soul. But your divine master is sorry for everything that they've done, everything that they may have said, where it said, you know, they've said, you know, they don't want to be with you and it's not going to work out and it's over between you. They're sorry for saying those things and they've only done it from a place of fear. They're having to forgive themselves for what they've said and done, making peace with that situation, putting that behind them. Also, they're not avoiding it. They're taking the responsibility, having the awareness that that isn't how they want to behave and that isn't coming from a place of unconditional love. So I'm gonna use the messages from your Divine Muskin's True Self, now my deck, to see what's gonna come through. Quite intense, I feel this energy as I'm doing this reading. Every time I do one, it's so different. But it's, it's like, um, quite firm, these messages. So that's the energy right now. They want to get this message across to you. What else is it that our masculines want to share? I am in love with the whole of you. And I'm gonna pick one more. I'm so proud of the changes you've made on the inside and the outside. So they're very aware that you've made huge changes within yourself because they know that because they're changing what's going on within themselves because you share the same energy. And some of your divine muskins may be able to see the changes that you've made outside of yourself as well in your life that have been huge. And they want you to know that they love every single thing about you, the whole of you. Not just parts of you, everything about you. And at the bottom of the deck is, I have a burning desire to kiss your tender lips. So they're feeling this urge to kiss you. So yeah, the sacred love making energy the sexual energy is present they're feeling that magnetic pull towards you they're feeling that desire and not only desire for you desire for change because of the kundalini is rising there is so much that they want to express and they are proud of you um which could mean so much to you if you feel as if your divine husband has been hiding you away for some time they've kept this a secret or it just comes across as if they're ashamed of you um, by their behaviour. The truth is they're so proud. They love you so much. And when you're proud of yourself, you can feel and you know that your divine masculine is proud of you. It feels amazing. You, you, you feel alive. You feel ecstatic on top of the world <laughs> because you're in your truth because you're proud of yourself. You feel good about yourself. It's only the ego, the mind, the thoughts, your perception 
of just seeing on the surface level that they behaved in a certain way because they're not proud of you. They are proud of you. And they want to celebrate this with you. How far you've come. So next I'm going to use my deck, Messages of Unconditional Love from the Divine Mask in my new deck. And if any of you guys are interested in any of the decks I'm actually using for today's reading, all the information about the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below. What else is it your Divine Mask in your other self wants to share and express to you right now in this moment? You need to take a moment, it's what I'm getting as well, to... to <laughs> To be proud of yourself, to think about the changes that you've made within yourself and outside of yourself, and not getting too far ahead and thinking, well, this should have happened by now, and I haven't seen this result, blah, blah, blah. To, to, to quieten that chatter and be proud of where you are right now and what you have been through. So I feel that someone needs to hear that. And I'm learning to forgive myself for the way I treated myself and the love of my life. Yes, I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to myself that I put myself through that. The way I've treated myself, the way I've deprived myself for such a long time. And hurting and causing pain to the love of my life by pushing you away. And... You know, as I say, these messages are to yourself. You're learning to forgive yourself the way you've treated yourself, how you've deprived yourself for such a long time. And for the divine feminine, you do have to go so deep to get that understanding because you could think, well, I haven't treated myself badly. It's what other people have done to me. But it, everything that you create in your life, it comes from you <laughs> um, because you are the creator of your life. And if things haven't seem as if they've been going smoothly for you and you've been struggling it's because something that is within you where you, you are blocking yourself or because of a belief system or what you've been told all of those things we have to we do have to go deep as i always say to you this isn't surface level we have to dive and i don't know how i've managed to hop to hide the love I feel for you for so long. So this is a divine masculine that's coming through here that has been hiding their feelings, that they have kept it a secret. And that's why they want you to know that they are proud of you and they're not ashamed of you. And because of they find it hard to show emotions, they haven't expressed how they truly feel about you. And they don't know how they've managed to hide it for such a long time. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, I will, wait, I will wait for you. So this is very deep because you're thinking, wait for you. It's me waiting for, <laughs> what, it's me waiting for, for, for my divine masculine. But it, it is your divine, your divine masculine is already there. This is you speaking to yourself. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You will always wait for yourself. You're always going to be there for yourself. But we do get disconnected from the truth of who we are and we get mixed up with the craziness so your divine masculine your true self is saying it doesn't matter how long it takes all the things that you're actually working through in this preparation i'm always going to be there i'm always going to wait for you and that isn't the physical person sitting there in the physical going well i'm already there this is you speaking to yourself because your divine masculine is already there when you actually accept that and make that commitment that they are with you that you are already whole and you stop treating this person as if they are separate with you your divine masculine is with you and they will wait for you while you're removing the layers of conditioning and programming because when you're working through those things, they're working through them. And when you get to that place of feeling this oneness, that is when this physical person, you magnetise them in. It is very difficult to explain. So I do really hope that you are in that place where you do have that deeper understanding of what I'm actually sharing. But the ego is not going to like what I'm saying because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> 
because it feels as if you're the one that's sitting there waiting. And as I said, you shouldn't be sitting there waiting. You should be getting on with your life, focusing on yourself. And by doing that, your divine masculine is coming with you. By you focusing on yourself. So I'm going to be using messages from your other self next. So they, they're, they're finding it really hard to actually hide how they truly feel about you now because everything is rising. They can't push this away. They're feeling this pull. They've got this desire to kiss you. And you are finding it hard to do this to yourself as well. For you to um, hide the love that you feel for yourself. Depriving yourself from love. So what else is it? Your other self, your divine master want you to know in this moment. Nice, clear message. What's going to come through? When I look into your eyes, I, it sets me on fire. <laughs> yeah. They see the truth. It makes them feel so excited, elated. And it, they just feel fired up. <laughs> For so, so many reasons. And I'd love to cook you romant a romantic meal for you. So I'd love to cook you a really lovely meal. So what I suggest here is to cook yourself a beautiful meal. Your favourite meal. Romanticise yourself. Live your life as if your divine masculine is actually physically there. Do the things that you love. But this physical person does want to actually <laughs> cook you a romantic meal. And it's much, it might be something that you have, you know, these previews and um you, this visualization of you having this romantic meal they want to experience that and they want to do something special for you and i'm in a lot of pain it takes me to the ground so a mixture of what's, what's going on in this energy today as i said everything's been stirred up and you could be experiencing a lot of pain and you're feeling all over the place and it seems again on the surface that divine muscles don't go through pain and it's not bothering them they do feel pain they're having to shift the same things as you maybe different experiences but it's the same because you do have the same core wound you share the same energy the pain of facing themselves the pain of being physically away from you apart you know not being with you physically knowing that they're hurting you and the pain of hurting themselves, um, it does take you to the ground. On this journey, I've experienced that. So I know that so many of you um, have probably experienced that many times on your journey. Um, so I really do hope that this resonates with you. And I hope it's been supportive and helped you understand more about the, this journey. Um, this very crazy journey and if you would like extra support as i said to you at the beginning all the information about the services i offer is in the description box down below and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow that's if you feel connected to me and you understand me and i'm sending you so much love my support my strength and light and i love you so very much see ya oh, what's your soul saying Oh